Just yesterday, a brand new firmware arrived for the Air 2S. Let's take a look at it and what it includes. Hi, I'm Ash from Droning On. If you want to hear the latest firmware updates for drone products, then hit that subscribe button below. In the meantime, yesterday, a brand new firmware version arrived for the Air 2S. Let's take a quick look at it. It's great, isn't it, when you fire up your product and you get that lovely notification that a new firmware is available. Clicking on it shows us a new version 02041690. The elements included in this firmware include optimized DJI AirSense. Now that's quite an interesting one because I have to comment that ever since flying the Air 2S, I haven't once seen any notification of AirSense or aircraft in the sky. I actually wondered if this feature was working at all because at one point I was aware of an oncoming aircraft and there was no indication on the screen. Now it's worth bearing in mind that AirSense uses a technology called ADS-B and at this time not all manned aircraft are actually fitted with a transponder. Therefore, it's highly likely that there could be aircraft in the sky near or around your drone and AirSense won't know about it. However, it does seem odd to me that I've never seen any notification and therefore I'm hoping that this firmware will fix that and get it working in areas where it doesn't currently work. Other people have reported AirSense working since launch and therefore this could be a regional thing. The next element in this firmware is optimized environment light detection and warning prompts. Now, as with every DJI firmware update, we're never really told a whole lot about what these elements actually improve. And I would love to see DJI's release notes certainly embellished with a bit more information about what to look out for in terms of these enhancements. But I suspect that this relates to the obstacle avoidance system. When you first start up your drone, if any of the obstacle avoidance sensors detect that the light is too low to work practically, then you get a warning on the screen. So it could be that this update relates to enhancing the light detection so that actually the obstacle avoidance can work in lower light. On the other hand, it could actually be reducing the obstacle avoidance so that there are less incidents when it's trying to work out that there's an obstacle there, but actually the light is so low that it can't really detect it properly. This actually could simply be damage limitation for DJI. In other words, perhaps obstacle avoidance won't work in the same light that it worked in before. Updating to this firmware is very simple. When you start up your drone and connect it to the app via smart controller or mobile phone, you'll be prompted that there's a new firmware. Simply click it and then click to install it and away it goes. You don't need to use DJI Assistant for this firmware. It will install straight from the app. That's about it, basically. If you detect anything interesting with this new firmware, then comment below. Give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down if your face needs a firmware update. And of course, hit that subscribe button. Thanks very much for watching.